Hello, this is Vern. This is a demo of a new customer requested feature for System Platform 2023R2 we call Alarm Latching. Alarm latching is used to retain alarms in the EAC until a customer explicitly removes them via a dismiss type of action. Dismissing transitions the alarm to the act return state and thus removes it from the EAC. Here's an EAC showing both the previously existing states as well as the new latch state. We'll come back to this momentarily, but let's first see how to enable alarm latching. That is done in the IDE by clicking on the Galaxy main menu item, selecting configure, selecting Galaxy again, clicking on alarms and events, and finally clicking on the states tab. You'll notice in the states tab, there is a new backstage configuration item used to enable or disable alarm latching. In this case, it was previously enabled, but uh, when the user check marks enable latching and then saves it, the whole galaxy will be enabled for alarm latching. This includes already existing alarms. In order to reach the latch state, user must first either acknowledge the alarm or the alarm must return to normal. It doesn't matter which one comes first as the alarm will still transition to latched when alarm latching is enabled and the alarm transitions through both states. For dismissing, let's first dismiss the alarm in the simplest way. In this case, let's select this one by left clicking selecting it, right-clicking, selecting Dismiss Selected, filling in the comment, clicking OK, and now it is transitioned back to the act return state and it is removed from the EAC. Let's next see how to transition alarms from all the various states through to Dismiss. And remember, there are two ways, act first, then return to normal, or return to normal first and then act. And then we'll try dismissing the other method. Uh, so for here, we see that it's returned to normal and it's an unact return state. So let's act it. Now it's enlatched. Here's one that's act. Let's bring up the object viewer and return it to normal. And here too, we see it's latched. And finally, this last alarm has neither been act or returned to normal. So we'll choose one of those two because they both work uh, to get it to, to transition to latched. Let's choose act selected. I guess we should choose it first, shouldn't we? Let's. <laughs> Yep. And now let's return to normal. And it's latched. So I mean, now let's choose the other way. The other way is you hover over the EAC, you right click, and you'll notice uh, dismiss others. You'll also notice that Dismiss Others has a number of ways of options to choose from. And these options are the same type of options as are presented for Act Others, Shelf Others, Unshelf Others, Hide Others. So let's choose the simplest, which is Dismiss All. Give our demo comment. And voila, all three alarms a transition to act return to normal state and were removed from the EAC. Now uh, alarm latching remains retains each of the alarms as value, status, and quality values through both shelving as well as through failovers. And that's the basics of alarm latching. Thank you.